What was I saying? Yeah, yeah. Pedro Pascal made similar tweets uh, comparing Republicans to Nazis. There's no action taken on him. But there was another guy who did the same thing. I forgot who it was. Mm -hmm. um, there was no action taken on him either. So, but like they would clamp down on Gina Carano. So yeah, no, I, that's I, the main issue. I recognize that. And then not only that, like, uh, what do you say? There was a time, if I remember correctly, I don't know when this was, but uh, Gina Carano some time ago didn't know what the whole, like, uh, you know those gender pronoun things or whatever? She didn't know anything about that. So then she puts beep boop and then everyone gets pissed off for no reason. <laughs> it's like a massive problem. Like, just because you don't agree with someone politically doesn't mean you just destroy their job. Like, they're not hurting you, right? They just disagree with you. No, no, but like, it's it's just fair at that point. Um, But like, we need these people, right? Now, right. if you just go ahead and say, oh, everyone has to think the same and just be a hive mind, that's not going to work out. That's always destroyed an economy. That's always destroyed anything creative in the past. Like, some of our best works come from people who think differently. So, are you going to just go ahead and throw someone under a bus because they're like, I don't like the color orange? Yeah, like, is that is that what she said? That, that's what I'm wondering. No. Say, for example, there was this whole thing of, like, Republicans... Uh, like they were putting kids in cages or something. Yeah, 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 I remember that. Pedro Pascal kind of lashed out against Republicans and said this is like Nazi-like behavior. Now, I, I don't honestly see that as like a totally egregious thing to say. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So obviously Disney agreed. They didn't fire Pedro Pascal, but they ended up firing this lady because she compared uh, oppression of the Republicans to the Holocaust or, or something like that. No, oh, like that statement is kind of, I mean, like, <laughs> I don't agree with Very it. blown out of pr proportion. <laughs> yeah. My neighbor isn't nice to me. I'm literally being genocided. Like, <laughs> that's stupid, it's just like, like Holocaust. Remember when the Germans weren't treating the, their Jewish neighbors nicely? Oh God. Basically exactly Jewish in Nazi that, Germany. Man. Seriously? That's not even a caricature. Like, it, it, that's exactly what she said. Yeah. And then... And then they clamp down on her. Now that's unfair, right? Like, how is that different from what Pedro Pascal said about? Oh, it's um, not. It's not different at all. It's not different at all. Like, I've seen I've seen Democrats call Republicans horrible stuff, and I've seen Republicans call Democrats horrible stuff. I've seen oh, yeah. uh, what do you say, Democrats? Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I like, you know, there there's some language that I definitely can't say on YouTube that Democrats have described Republicans. It's abhorrent, right? But like. Neither is citing near uh, here or there. It's just, it's weird that it seems not just sexist, but it's like this is more of a Disney CEO kind of problem because uh, if you look at the Disney CEO, he has more of a I need to appear left like Bob Iger. He's like I need to appear left, but secretly I don't give a shit. Right? Look, you can't control what an actor says or does, right? But you can go ahead and control. Uh, what do you say? Abhorrent behavior. Uh, Mark. She, she's just a Republican. She's just a Republican. She's like the run-of-the-mill Republican who's like, I support Trump. That's 50% of the country. What are you going to do? Like, ban 50% of the country from working anywhere? Like, <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's complicated. It's not a dollar worth Elon of... Musk is in the mix, though. That's what makes this all so funny. No, Imagine no. he's the person who saves Star Wars. This is... Mark Hamill uh, tweets about Trump. Like, he, he talks shit about his family. Like, it's all... It, Trump hate is, like, a big part of Mark Hamill. He doesn't get cancelled. Nobody says he shouldn't uh, act in The Last Jedi. Like, you know, it's, it's just the right-wing actors that get the flag. Yeah, and that, I find, is absolutely abhorrent. Look, if someone's right-wing, uh, let them say whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, as long as they're not calling for, like, the death of someone. But, man, it, it's just... It's wild. It's, it's gonna be so insubstantial or, like, uh, in, un inconsequential. Like, what if she even gets her job back? Like, what does that change? Is Star Wars going to be better? <laughs> it's, it's been dead for a while. Yeah. I mean, no, especially with the whole Kathleen Kennedy situation. It's like, uh, they left Star Wars in such a rough spot. And uh, then they go ahead and, uh, like, terminate Gina. And speaking to Gina as, like, a character within the Star Wars world, do you know how good she was in her role within The Mandalorian? Like, everyone loved her character. I watched The Mandalorian. Oh, bro, yeah. I don't, like, you, can't, you, can't, you can't convince me to watch it. I My opinion of the Mandalorians comes from KOTOR and KOTOR 2. 
Yeah. Like I wanted to stay that way. I, I I just don't want these guys ruining my childhood yeah, even I, further. I think I think honestly the first season of the Mandalorian didn't really hit off. Uh, I find I'll, the I'll, last I'll, couple of scenes I'll, like Kotor is peak. Okay, you can't you can't one up that. So I'm just gonna you, stop there. You definitely can't. But like I just I just want like Disney to course correct and like actually just release whatever Kotor is and then build off of it in the future. That's fine. But then the way they're I, just like you trying know, to. Are you sure? Are you sure? Be careful what you wish for. You really want Disney's grimy hands on Revan and Kotor? See, I don't. I I, I, I only hope you leave it alone. Let I, it die. No, no. I only want them to go ahead and post anything about it if they're gonna keep to the original source, right? The eighth movie. The only thing I remember is the fact that like they tried to go ahead and do like this thing where weapons arm deals were in there, and then. I don't remember anything good about the story other than like Finn doesn't become a Jedi, which it felt like it was hinted heavily that he was. He should have. It, it was foreshadowed so well. Yeah. Like and they gave him a lightsaber and everything. Exactly. And it's just like, oh, bro, I want to see if he becomes like a Jedi or maybe he secretly becomes a Sith, right? Who knows? That would have been cool. Yeah, no, but that would have been cool. Star Wars will never do anything cool anymore. Exactly. Like, no version, nothing. <laughs> they think, like, Ray Palpatine is, like, peak fiction. Like, what? Stop. Stop. Like, like you're not good at writing. Stop. But uh, going back to the whole Gina Carano thing, right? Um, and it being funded by Elon. Uh, do you guys remember when Elon went ahead and, uh, what do you say, told by, uh, Bob Iger to fuck off? Like, live on air? I don't remember that. I don't care about either of them, so I don't know. No, it was I don't just really like, follow them. There, there, like I think there was a situation where Bob Iger was gonna pull funding from like Twitter or something like that, and he's just like, "Oh yeah, fuck anyone that like, like fuck off, you're black- yeah, yeah, like fuck off. Are you gonna blackmail me?" <laughs> so that was that I found was like kind of funny, but I feel like he took that anger to a new level, right? And, um, of course, here we're going ahead and talking about the compensation and all the stuff that she's going to be arguing about um, how she wants to get back into the spotlight, how she wants to not be uh, distastefully discharged. But um, there was Bob Iger's response to it. And let's see. What did Bob Iger say? So Disney CEO Bob Iger had very little to say about uh, none. His simple response before moving uh, the conversation along to more productive topics. Like, Iger's just completely ignoring all of this. He just said no comment. Wow. Yeah. So, Actually, it's a smart move, I think. He doesn't want to get caught into this uh, drama. No, I, I definitely I definitely agree with that, but I feel like this is more of a battle between Bob Iger and Elon Musk. Like, they've both taken the spotlight in this thing, and, like, Gina's just going to be snuffed out. They're, they're, like, using her and Star Wars as a pawn to just fight each other with. Yeah. Like, it, it, you, need, like... you need Duke cause to fire someone, you know? Even if they're on contract, I, I, I think, like, unfairly eliminating them, messing with their livelihood is not, is not cool. A hundred percent. Obviously. It's people like you, Sam, that are, like, putting Star Wars on life support by watching Mandalorian. <laughs> just let it die. At this point, I will not allow Star Wars to die. I love Star Wars, but it is it is it's been dead for a long time. No, it's just here's the thing. I want to be infuriated, but I'm like, what's the point of getting angry if like the people who own it are the ones that are drinking their own grave, right? Like at least when it came to Avatar and me ranting about Avatar, like Netflix, like the actual creators walked away saying, this is not what we uh, what they made. This is terrible in its own right, whatever, right? But then with this one, the creators are just like, the people that own the IP are just like, oh my god, you know, we can go ahead and just add in whatever shit and say it's good when it's definitely not. Bob, Bob consuming the dribble, please. Let it die. I get, I get the Mandalorian somewhat good, but it's Oh my god! It's like an abusive husband buying you presents on Christmas. <laughs> like, sure, but just let it die. Let it die. Let it let it go to its grave. Like Star Wars was one once great. They they screwed up so many characters. Like all the characters that they should have let die: Han Solo, Luke, uh, Leia. Like they had such bro. I think Leia's still alive, right? Leia's still alive. I think so. Um, Han, uh, Luke, and uh, Han Solo are dead. But like they took these icons of the of the seventies and like throughout uh, throughout the nineties, eighties, uh, 
everybody liked Luke Skywalker. Everybody wanted to be like Han Solo. They took these beloved characters, made him like a grumpy old uncle, and Han's like a washed up, like, divorced dad. Who, like, well, I didn't want to no, see no. them like this one. The funny thing is, the funny thing is, when I saw Han Solo on, like, uh, on the seventh movie, right? I was just like, dude, I think they just recasted, like, Indiana Jones of a Star Wars edition. <laughs> Star Wars geriatrics version it was it was so bad. It was so bad to see him like that. I I part of me died inside. This is not the Han Solo that I wanted to be like. You know. Yeah. No. It, it, I mean, it is what it is. But with that being said, um, thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I dislike it if you dislike it. And practically, we could give less of a shit about any of the shit shows that's going on with um these people that like to fuck over Star Wars. See ya. I've literally never heard of these people before. <laughs> yeah, because they're not in the Star Wars. <laughs> oh, my oh my god. Imagine we take like a guy who has nothing to do with Star Wars and <laughs> make a video with him. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think. Guys, that was a good opinion, right? Yeah, 100%. I can agree with that, right? 100% okay, good opinion. Good.